loves and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to go over a super simple list of newborn baby essentials. First up is blankets. I think that aside from the basics, this is the thing that gets used the most. I have about four blankets that I go through every week to two weeks. After a couple of days, I'll just throw it in the wash and grab a new one. So we cycle through about four blankets every week to two weeks. Next up is the boppy. The boppy is not only essential if you are breastfeeding, but it's really good for tummy time, for them to just hang out with you anywhere and be comfortable. Maya is almost three months old, so she is starting to use the boppy as something to hold herself up with on her tummy and it's really a fun experience for her. Next up we have burp rags. With Carter I had an endless supply of burp rags and never really used a single one. With Maya that is not the case. I only had probably five burp rags and we were washing them every single day because of her vomiting and spitting up which has subsided since then. However, it is still really nice to keep a burp rag like in the living room, on her crib, just in case for any messes or spit up. Then we have the Tommy Tippy Binky. This is the only one that she likes. At first we thought she liked the ma'am ones, but she was gagging every time she was using it. So we switched to Tommy Tippy because this is the brand that Carter really loved. And it is the sole reason she stopped overeating, she stopped vomiting every night, and she has been really healthy and gaining good amount of weights since. Now, when I tell you we tried every single baby bottle under the sun, and I did the flow test on every single one because the FDA does not regulate the flow of baby bottles so one slow flow might be a lot faster than another slow flow. I did a lot of research and a lot of tests to find the even flow bottle. It does have ventilation on the nipple and unlike other brands the nipple comes off the top instead of going in underneath. Upon my research a lot of moms had found that their babies had a really hard time getting anything out of the bottle, like nothing was coming out. And when I tell you that Maya is like the hardest sucker ever, I knew that would be the perfect bottle for her. However, over a little bit of use throughout the day, the flow does become a little faster. So I'm constantly washing bottles and every half a day to every morning I will get a new bottle for her so she isn't drowning herself while she eats. With Carter I was not really educated on formula and everything but this time around since Maya has had colic and has a super sensitive tummy I wanted the best for her so I looked up alternatives and found the brand Kendameal. It doesn't have any palm oils or anything like that in it that are actually banned in other countries so it is more of a european style brand i was using boppy which is also a european style with no palm oils but it had too much iron in it for her and it was causing a lot of discomfort so we switched to the kendamil and everything has been going super smoothly since then i use this tummy pad probably every single day my best friend got this for me when I had my firstborn and I've been using it ever since. It is super convenient to just place on the floor, set the baby down and know that she's comfortable or if we're doing tummy time and her head smacks down with the little bobble head that they do, I know that she isn't really going to hurt herself. This one's a given and if you don't already know, buy the zip up onesies and not the button onesies. And when I say you need a lot of onesies, especially if you have a baby that spits up a lot, you will need a lot of onesies. I probably went through five or six onesies a day the first two months of her existence. And ever since then, I go through maybe two, three max sometimes. But zip-ups are totally essential, especially some that are super warm if you live in a cold environment. Washington isn't 
too cold. It has very mild winters, but it does get very rainy and wet. And this year has been kind of a harsh cold. I think we're gonna have a harsh winter. So I've been stocking up on some warm onesies for her to wear at night throughout bedtime, or if we go through a stroll down the neighborhood. With Carter, I was afraid to use basically anything on him, for him, in him, I was just that mom. However, this time around, I have found that for a skin ointment, I really enjoy Aquaphor. It helps really well with rashes. So I haven't been using like butt paste in general. I have just been using Aquaphor. Or if she has dry areas on her skin, I will use that. I'll massage it into her feet and hands. It's really good for healing and for just comfort in general. Like I said, I'm not really into giving things to newborn like medicine and things other than their formula basically, but I do really like gripe water, especially for a colicky baby. It was a game changer for us. The recommendation is that you can give it to them 15 times a day. I really strayed away from that and tried to only give it to her two, maybe three times max a day, which really wasn't needed because once she got a single dose, it really helped her. It helped burping, it helped gas, it helped pooping. It's really inexpensive, so I recommend that you grab some gripe water, whether you have a colicky baby or not. It comes in handy. One thing the gripe water doesn't say on the packaging, but is something that you should no. If you give your child gripe water, I recommend you feeding them first and make sure they're full. You don't want to feed them the first 20 minutes after giving them gripe water. So just make sure that their tummy is full beforehand because they do experience some discomfort if you give them gripe water and then feed them right after that. Other than that, it is completely safe to use. My doctor actually Highly recommends it. I voiced my concerns about the gripe water to her and she let me know that it was completely safe to use. There you have it. That is my super simple list of newborns essentials. You don't need anything fancy, really. Honestly, if I just had a blanket and a binky, I would be happy. You really don't need anything super fancy for your baby. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some of the information useful. I'll see you in another video.